you're gonna have to bear with me it's like over the standard five degrees that it usually is in the uk and i'm not bearing up very well the essential phone and the lg g6 two phones that put ips before amoled and put build quality before camera quality in my opinion hey guys my name is ryan thompson with failtech and this is my comparison in 2018 and beyond to start off let's talk about the chassis the build the build materials anything like that Firstly, we'll start off with build materials. Now this is somewhere that the essential phone takes off with because it's got polished ceramic and titanium, enabling a much tougher and arguably more elegant design with no protrusions of camera bumps or anything like that. Looks very flat, very minimalistic, and very nice. And we'll touch on the bezels a little bit later. Compared with the LG G6, which has more of an aluminium and glass build, it's got Gorilla Glass 5 on the back and three on the front. Now I really like this build and I really like the materials used. And the difference is that this has a lot of certification. So it's mil spec certified as well as IP68 water and dust resistant certified, which means on paper, it's actually better than the essential phone in its build quality. However, it's really up to how you tend to break your phone. Do you drop it? Do you scratch it? or do you splash it with water and get it full of dust? Do you work in a busy environment like that? So it's really up to you. In terms of the design, I really like the Essential Phone for its tiny bezels. The G6 has small bezels, don't get me wrong, but it's just not quite the same as the Essential Phone. The notch is something that people are gonna love or hate. I personally don't find it to be that bad because it's that tiny little notch. And again, it works pretty well on the Essential Phone. However, personally, I prefer the G6's look, the feel, and just the way it is. A lot of people prefer the Essential Phone and that's because it's a beautiful looking phone, but the G6 keeps it rugged and minimalistic and utilitarian, and that's what I like. Both use on-screen buttons as opposed to off-screen buttons, both have fingerprint scanners in the same place. The G6 does offer a little bit more utility here with the headphone jack and the micro SD expansion versus neither of these offerings in the Essential Phone. You're gonna get some good phones either way here, but in terms of what it looks like on paper, and how it works in everyday usage, I feel like the G6 has the edge here, although it doesn't, it's, it's not a Samsung phone. The performance and battery life are two areas where they trade blows. The G6 offers last gen 821 from Snapdragon, which is a quad core chip. It also has four gigabytes of RAM, which in my opinion is enough, and 32 or 64 gigs of storage. Works well, it's not amazing, and LG's old version of Android and actually skinned version of Android doesn't look amazing, doesn't feel amazing, but it's reliable and it works. Whereas the Essential Phone opts for the Snapdragon 835, which is an eight core chip with the same four gigabytes of RAM and a standard 128 gigabytes of storage, but with no expansion, which is kind of frustrating. It is faster, tends to work better. It's a little bit buggy, although a lot of software updates in my comment section have been said to have been pushed to this device, so I wouldn't really worry about it now. The version I was on was 8.0 Oreo, didn't work too well, but a lot of people have updated it and it seems to work a lot better now. And it's pure stock clean Android. It's beautiful. It's got that minimalist design. In terms of performance, both of these are gonna get you through everyday tasks with no problem. Although the Essential Phone will push that a step further in terms of the higher end app. Battery life is similar and that is essentially because the 835 in the Essential Phone is actually more power efficient than the 821 in the G6, even though the Essential Phone has a 300 milliamp hour smaller battery. So battery life is gonna be roughly the same, not amazing due to the use of IPS displays, and their whole heat management system isn't amazing. Screen on time is in the four to five hour section. The displays and speakers are, well, pretty good actually. The speakers maybe not so, but the displays are good on these devices. They're IPS, so they're not gonna give you insanely deep blacks or incredibly punchy colors. Although the G6 does take the cake in my opinion for offering a nicer looking display. It might not be as accurate as the essential phones, but it definitely looks more fun and pleasing to look at. Although you can change some settings in either of these phones to match your personal tastes. The G6 out of the box just looks better to me. They're both just as sharp as each other because they use a slightly off standard wide QHD display, which is something that a lot of people do like because it's nice and sharp. It's gonna give you those really, really crispy looking photos and videos. The G6 to me offers a better viewing experience because one, there isn't a notch, and two, it kind of conforms to a few more standards. It's exactly two by one, as opposed to a slightly weirder aspect ratio and resolution that the Essential Phone is, although both these displays are absolutely stunning in their own right. The cameras, now this is where I feel that both of these phones are kind of let down a bit. The G6 uses two cameras, a standard camera and a wide angle camera, makes for some really cool looking photos, but the software won't blow you away. I recommend you port the Pixel camera app to this one. The Essential Phone uses its secondary sensor as a depth mapping sensor, as it's a monochrome sensor. Take that as you will. I personally prefer the G6's setup, but again, port the Pixel camera app to your essential phone if possible. Oh my God, it's so warm in here. Both offer UHD 30 FPS support, which is great. And on the front cameras, the essential phone just takes 
takes the whole thing away here. I much prefer the front facing camera on the Essential phone. Also, it shoots UHD video, which is super cool. I'm trying to keep this short. So the TLDR is that I would take the G6 over the Essential phone. Okay, yes, it's not as stunning to look at and it's a little bit older. It's got slightly less power and of course, it's not gonna give you that longevity that the Essential phone does, but, and this is a big but, it has micro SD expansion. It is rated for some pretty good weatherproofing and finally, it has a secondary camera that seems to actually do something. It's a fun camera, it might not be the best in the world, I think I hated on it a little bit back in the day, but it's definitely more fun than a monochromatic sensor that doesn't seem to do much. But of course, on the Essential phone, you get that 360 camera add-on, and very doubtful that you're going to get a successor to that phone, so it might be a piece of history to keep. Both aren't ideal, and for around £300 to £450, they're definitely not the best options in their category, but they are options nonetheless. I'm not gonna rule either of these out if you're looking for a phone in that price category. I wanna thank Darren, Ben, Ross, Octavian Apron, Apron, Aprien, for supporting me on Patreon. I love you guys, thank you so much. Also, I recommend that you follow me on social media because there's a lot of behind the scenes going on. Also, please do like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you're new around here to never miss a video like this one. My name's been Ryan Thomas with Failtech. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.